Okay, so today I wanted to give you guys a quick overview of my vanity and how I organize everything and also a cheeky look inside at some of the things that I have stored and my kind of everyday makeup so come along okay so the first thing I am going to start with are my foundations and I just have them on this little tray these are my let me move this these are my current go-to foundations and I'm list on this cute little Ray Dunn tray that says dream on it. Let you guys have a look over the foundations I'm currently using. And then back here I keep um, my face palettes, kind of my larger eyeshadow palettes. These are Morphe palettes. I have my rollerball perfumes. I currently am loving the replica by the fireplace. Love it. I have my Burberry perfume. Then I have some eyeshadow palettes that I am absolutely loving. This soft glam palette is actually currently in a project pan, but these are just kind of some go-to fall palettes. Have some Natasha Denona, Urban Decay, Dose of Color, some Tarte, some Anastasia, some Makeup Revolution, some good palettes, and then back here I have a custom palette that I built. Oh, it's been it's been a while um, because they actually don't make the large circular Makeup Forever palettes anymore, or Makeup Forever singles anymore in circular form. So that's what these are. This is kind of older, but do I want to get rid of it? No, because these are all Makeup Forever, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and MAC Shadows. So it costs a lot of money to make this, and I need it over time. It's not going anywhere. I have a couple of Huda Beauty palettes I've been using lately. This is the Mop of Sessions. The Warm Brown Obsessions and the Topaz Obsessions. I think that these are gorgeous for fall. I have my Leaves Candle Burning. Love it. Just get this over. This is one of the Capri Blue Candles Volcano. Um, I don't burn this because I think this is gorgeous packaging so I'm not gonna burn that <laughs> my little H mirror and yeah I use it on the daily for my makeup um a little Clinique sample moisturizer two double end brushes that I just kind of lay here I don't really use but I actually think they're decent so I don't get rid of them this is like my lip liner and lip pencils. I've got lippy sticks in here, lip liners, a MAC, a Bite, Makeup Forever. These are my eyeshadow brushes. I have a mirror. Hello. These are my face brushes. And here, and these, these little um, purple containers, cups and bowl. These were my grandma's, so I cherish those. Some chopsticks from Taiwan for my friend that went to Taiwan years ago. But yeah, these are eyeliners. 
this is kind of like skincare type stuff and I have one lipstick this is by Burberry and this is English Rose and I put it out to, to have a point to use it because why have something if you're not going to use it so yeah I have that out to try to use I need to pull some other ones out too but yeah I have Ole Hendrickson, the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion, Physician's Formula Rosé Day Serum, which I love, some MAC, a pink strobe cream, another little MAC. I have this, I forget what it's called, but it's purple, <laughs> and Seth gave it to me. And this is also currently in Project Pan, this is just my MAC Fix Plus, it chills right there. I am trying two foundations. I'm trying the Fenty Hydrating Foundation in the Laura Mercier uh, Tinted Moisturizer. And I love the Tinted Moisturizer. I need to try the Fenty some more, but I'm probably gonna buy the Tinted Moisturizer. Maybe in a little bit lighter of a color. These are the nail polishes. I'm gonna paint my nails um, probably tomorrow and Thursday for Halloween. It's not black, but it's a really, really dark blue. It's Essie's After School Boy Blazer, and then Essie is Sating Soho. So those are Halloween nails. Now let's get into my everyday drawer. Oh, and I have two marble slabs that I do flat ways on for my Instagram. So I can get these at like, Home Depot for really cheap. <clears throat> All right, so here is inside of my kind of keep my everyday makeup, current makeup that I'm really enjoying in. So we'll start over here. This is brows and concealers. The Too Faced Born This Way and the Revolution Conceal and Define. And then I just have a bunch of brow and I have my MAC um, Prep and Prime in here. I'm gonna have my Anastasia Brow Wiz, some Benefit Brow Primer, and then this Unbelievable Brow by L'Oreal that I have a love hate relationship with. Um, so, this is like face products. I've got a MAC highlighter, Elf highlighter, MAC blush, another MAC face powder, Becca Opal Cream, Rock highlighter. Butter blush, some milk cream products, some Fenty cream products, Elf bronzer. These blushes, um, these are really good. Jordana cream blush. So, some, some nice things. These are eye products. My two small Natasha Denona palettes in here. The Mini Sunset and the Mini Nude. My MAC Painterly that I pretty much use every day. Then I have some of the Stila Glitter and Glows. My MAC All That Glitters eyeshadow is in here. Love it. Some Huda Beauty Matte Metals. Some Wet n Wild Multi Sticks. I'm still trying to get, sorry, you went blurry. Oh, you went blurry. I'm just trying to get on with these. The story doesn't come out all the way, so I'm like. Um, two more MAC paint pots. This is Bear Study. And I think this is Vintage Selection. Yeah. And then I have Tarte Chrome Paint in Park Avenue Princess. That's all that stuff. And then this is just mascaras and liners ish. Actually, these probably need to go up there. I need, as you tell, I'm not really clean this up, clean this out too much, but I'm currently using Maxim Lash and Essence Lash Princess for lashes. These all need to go up in that cup, except for this one which is my winged my winged liner but 
Physicians Formula Urban Decay Liners. And then I have these um, Heavy Metal Liners by Urban Decay. These are so pretty. I actually wore this one the other day, which is Starfire. But yeah. I have in here, this is my Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask. Then I've got my Fresh Lemon Hydrating Balm. Two of these lip macaroons from It's Skin. A little Sugar Rose Lip Scrub. And then in here I have more lip stuff. And a pair of tweezers. I have my Lano Lips, which is really great. My little YSL lip oil that I'm obsessed with. By Beauty Agave Lip Mask. Another Laneige. This is the Lip Glowy Balm. And then a Kiehl's Lip Balm. So, I have dry skin, so I try to keep <laughs> all my bases covered, usually. So, that's everything that is in my everyday makeup drawer currently okay like i said these drawers don't come out all the way but i wanted to show you what's inside here sorry about the glare coming off everything these are pink little ones i got from tj maxx so this first drawer is all of my fall project pan items i have a video on that and i will link below um and maybe i'll just pull this stuff out so okay yeah i'll just pull this stuff out so this is new face like face products and lip products that i'm trying out so i have the new clinique palette this covergirl blush what's it brick rose yeah brick rose guys this is Gorgeous. I have the new Physicians Formula Rosé All Day Puddle Glue. I have some ColourPop sticks. A Stila. This is not a glitter and glow. It's a shimmer and glow. It's gorgeous. Mascara. Some lip. Lip products. Milani. And ColourPop. And it's a primer. So I'm trying that stuff out. And that's kind of face miscellaneous stuff so these are palettes that are newer that i'm trying out so i have the truly madly deeply palette by ColourPop. trying that out the wet and wild coffin break palette it's really pretty trying that out the color pop X's and O's palette, the Milani Gilded Desires palette, and that is what that one looks like, the Colourpop Double Trende palette, and then the Revolution Reloaded Red Alert palette, that's really pretty. So those are my new-ish palettes. And then the last bit that I'm going to show you is current wet products out of the drawer. Um, I have a slight problem with lip products, so I'll have to pull out a couple. Um, this is the Bite Beauty Flat White gloss that smells and tastes like coffee. I think it tastes, I don't think it tastes like coffee, but it smells like coffee. I've got the, um, Charlotte Tilbury JK Magic Lipstick that I think is so beautiful. I mean, the packaging alone is stunning. It's really pretty.
I have the Morphe Boho Gloss. This is by Smashbox and it is the Always On Liquid Lipstick in Fair Game. Guys, this is gorgeous. Uh, let's see. This is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I've had this for a while. I love it. I think it's so, so pretty. I have a couple of MAC lipsticks. I have Honey Love, Faux, MAC Clouds in my coffee, some L'Oreal, Maybelline, NARS, MAC, Revlon, Pixie, Pat McGrath, Mini. I just have a lot. I may do the current um, makeup drawer and swatch video soon i think that would be really really fun so thank you guys for watching i know i am having some um allergy problems today but i just wanted to show you guys my current makeup setup i am not even going to go into my alex drawers because they're a mess and i don't feel like dealing with it but that's just my current everyday makeup perfume kind of skincare most of my skincare is in the bathroom but i just wanted to show you guys you know what i'm using on the daily so please give this video a thumbs up subscribe and leave a comment um telling me what your favorite fall lipstick is currently and um i have a fuzz in my hair that's great <laughs> i'll see you guys later